Um, tonight, you guys struggled to slow them down from start to finish, but um, just how much fun are you having watching Sabonis and sort of developing that chemistry and watching him go at Jokic? Yeah, I mean, uh, they definitely played well today. I would say, like, um, I mean, we had a goal of how many deflections we wanted to get, and I think we surpassed it, but we we just didn't come up with the loose balls. But we, I think we were disruptive, and um, every time we got a deflection and they got it back, something bad happened for us. Um, but, yeah, just, I mean, being out there with, a, with, with the biggest skill that he is, it's, it's definitely great. Um, I mean, I definitely need to play better, um, and defensively we need to be better. But, I mean, he had a, he had a hell of a game tonight, and uh, we don't want to, you know, let those types of games go to waste. Uh, from him, I know it's only been a handful of games, but you know there's been talk about wanting to see him more aggressive offensively. Is that maybe not a 30-point game, but I mean, is that kind of what you want to see more of from him? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I think we all, uh, everybody in the league knows what he can do um, as far as passing the ball, rebounding the ball, scoring. Um, and when he's having a big night like like tonight, uh, as a team, we definitely need to capitalize on something like that for sure. Yeah, lots of turnovers tonight. Uh, we've heard talks about live ball turnovers all night. What do you think kind of uh, was was the cause of that for you guys? Oh, I mean, I think definitely they're. I mean, they they have you know great length as a team, but um, still just getting a feel for for each other. I mean, we've had three practices, five games. Um, I mean, those things will definitely get better with time. Um, we don't have that much time left in this season, but uh, I mean, we've got to continue to work on those. I mean, you know, 15 is not. Horrible, but you know it's not where you want to be. But and I think most of them were live balls. We had a few that you know kind of just went through people's hands and went out of bounds. But uh, most of them were definitely live ball, and, and, and uh, they capitalized on it. You yeah, know, on a side note, before the game, you know, you guys and the Nuggets uh, kind of unified <clears throat> in regards to the situation that's going on in Ukraine. Just want to get your thoughts about that. And we know. Uh, Alex Lynn dealing with a lot because his family is there. So just wanted to get your thoughts on the situation. Yeah, I mean, well, one, because um, we had our first practice and, and Alex wasn't there. So me personally, I wasn't really thinking anything of it at the time um, until yesterday. And um, I'm like, wow, well, that's, you know, probably why he's not, you know, our practice. And um, obviously no one, you know, wants to be at war. And, um, you know, I don't really have a lot to say about it. But, you know, that's something that obviously – you know, affects affects everybody, affects the entire world. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. And, you know, we feel for him, and we we, we pray for him and his family and in his country as well. Uh, can you talk about just how maybe the idea came about, or at best to your knowledge? Uh, idea of oh. uh, what what we did. Um, he he texted the group, and everybody was was fine with it. Everybody was great with it. I mean, um, you know, um, having having someone on your team that it's happening in their backyard is definitely a different, you know, it, it definitely hits hits you different. I mean, he's, I would say he, him and um, and Svi is are the only, him and Svi, uh, Mikhailu are the only, you know, Ukrainians that I know in, in my life. So um, knowing people that, that it definitely hits home and they have people that, you know, still live there and family that live there and friends that live there, uh, it definitely hits them differently. Hey, Darren, before the big trades happened and everything, there was a lot of talk about how when things went bad, communication kind of, went down on the floor you guys weren't talking a lot has it changed at all since you got all these new guys you think it's better now or where are things at with that uh, i definitely think it's it's been a bit better it's growing um today though every time we made a run they made a timely three something and one something uh they were able to answer every every run that we have for them but um i definitely think um it stayed up you know for the most part of the game but sometimes when those things happen it's definitely demoralizing to everybody but um you know you try to keep those you try to keep the communication high Darren, you guys were uh, down two late in the third and then i think to end the third and start the fourth you and domas were both on the the bench um and, and that was kind of a stretch where they pushed it back to double digits from from just two points is that you know, I know Alvin says he wants to have one or, or um, both of you on the floor at all times. Is that something you really feel like is, is going to be important moving forward? Uh, well, I mean, we got it to two when we were on the bench. So uh, I think that group out there was playing well. So um, like I said, they were, they were just able to answer, you know, every run that we had. Um, rather, if we were in or we were on the bench, uh, they answered every run. And I mean, that's a good team. But, um, you know, for us, we have to be able to, when we're on a run and they stop the bleeding, you know, we have to be able to, you know, respond again. And, um, I mean, we all know basketball is a game of runs, and 
um, we let some of their runs uh, get out of hand too much.